if you don't make three Isabel movements a day, you will be in trouble because you will get hemorrhoids and the fissures. Fissures are cracks which develop in our anal passage where the, the fecal matter passes. So if you don't have Isabel movements, you will develop hemorrhoids, you will develop fissures, and even you will develop um, the, the, the lymph nodes might swell. So you'll be in trouble. And that's the passage of our waste matter. If the, the passage of our waste matter has a problem, or you get worried to go to it that you may not push out the, the normal, the, 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 the required amount to be in trouble, and you get worried and cause a stigma in your brain. Now, this, if you want to, to, to stop this, get some medicines or some medicine or food which can give you a loose stool so that you don't force, force your fecal matter through your canal with force. It should be normal and soft. So the moment you realize that you go to it once a day and it's so hard or you jump a day, that's a big problem. Most of us stay on a computer longer or attend a program on a TV. And when the call comes, the natural call, you just, no, let me not mind about it. I'll do that next time. Oh, someone is in the toilet. Such excuses will cause your ass to harden because the descending colon always removes the, the much water. So the moment I've had this tool. Now what's the remote? Currently all what people have been knowing is that cut away the hemorrhoids. That is very primitive. Although we do it in a scientific hospital, but it's not, it's very primitive. What do you do in such a scenario? What you do, get a leaf of a tomato, tomato plant, soften it over a charcoal stove or a fire. Then squeeze it in your hands like this, then push them into your anal canal after cleaning yourself. Do that every day. Make sure it stays there as long as you are breathing. Now, that one will help you to, to, to turn back the hemorrhoids or heal the fissures. Or alternatively, you can use, uh, there is a powder called fenugreek from beans. They, were, they are normally grown in Arab countries. They call them hurba. That hurba, that powder, heals wounds which don't heal. You put a little and they put some water. It will cause a pest after, say, four minutes. Then push it into your anal canal. It is so nice and it has the power to soften the, the, the veins which swell as you go to it. And even the fissures, they will get healed. So if you do that, you don't need to go to a doctor, you know, to go around for surgery because it's very dangerous. There is a 27-year boy came to me. In fact, it was a man, because anybody who is 27 had it the same. He attended to me, I told him what to do. Eventually, he was misled by other people, other advisors. They said, oh, no, we don't do that. He went to another hospital. They operated him. Eventually, the, the speech that muscle didn't work out well. It got a wound and it opened. Now, what did they do? They had to stitch the anus and opened the side of the, this side, right side, side, the colon. And then the fecal matter was passing out voluntarily. So then he came to me, what can I do to stop the, the, the fecal matter? I told him it's nothing. And that cannot be repaired. Don't tamper with the sphinx tamas, so the one which holds the fecal matter not to get out. Works with the brain. Once you injure it, the brain will just neglect it. Now, you have to use those what I've told you, use fenugreek or a leaf of a tomato plant. Pluck it, those who are in the village. Just pluck it and that one. Soften it, because when you do it like this, it will just break, break. But once you soften it on fire, it will become soft and they, then squeeze it, then push it there. Do that for about as long as you get okay. So that is a tip I wanted to give you. We have been injuring people, or people have been injuring themselves, doing the wrong thing. And it is the normal way and the cheaper. So thank you very much.